Hi all, welcome back to my channel, Quotiny Session. So in this session, we are going to understand what is shorting and how we can, what are the different ways to short the data which are available in SSRS reports. And then also we will understand what is interactive shorting. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I have opened Visual Studio, if you can see in my screen. So here, this is the dashboard for the uh, SSRS projects. So here we have a multi, uh, I have sub reports which I have already created. So first what we need to do, we need to create a new report. So this is the option where you need to go, go to add and create a new item. And if you want, you can give the better name to your report as well. Like uh, say we give as a report shorting data okay because our intention is to understand how we can short the data okay mm -hmm. so before that we need to understand what data we are going to show in our ssrs report so see there are three this this is the table which i uh, if you able to see in the sql server management studio so i have one table employee data and these are the five records okay in this table so what we need to do we need to display this data in our report and we wanted to apply a we, we wanted to display the shorting data okay so there are three ways by which we can short the data first is very uh, first way is we can short the we can display the shorter data itself the very first option is we can display the shorter data and that will be uh, done by using the order by clause okay let's say we have in this table uh, uh, in this table we have a three columns first name last name and city name and our uh, uh, intention is our uh, to display the data shorted by the city like the city which comes uh, with, with letter c comes first and then d and then k okay so it, this is in ascending order so we want our data to be shorted by the city so th the this is the very first way we can say let me put it here as a first way okay and then second way second way is we can say here uh, second way is we can use the tablix properties to uh, provide the uh, to short the data that we i will uh, show in uh, later okay so this is the very first uh, let me demonstrate the first way how we can do that so here we have created a report this is blank report so very first option what we need to very first step what we need to do to configure the report data is we need to uh, configure our data source okay so give the data source as name if you want you can give it proper name okay our uh, type is sql server not analysis service and we need to build the connection string so we need to provide the server name how you can provide the server name just go here and click on connect click on database engine this option will provide you the data set, server name just close it copy that server name and paste it over here okay as soon as you paste the server name you will be prompted to select the database name inside your server so my database name is sample db because my table employed uh, my table is uh, available in employee db database see employee database and the table is employee data so this way it is done now just double click to make sure that the credentials are use window authentication do not credentials okay now once we have configured the data source next step is we need to configure the data set okay now what what it is we are giving we are getting some uh, error the report our data did not behave correctly toward using this please save your solution so okay let con press control s now right click on the data set add data set one second let me check the data source everything is fine or not let me close this sometimes this kind of error we got it so we need to close the report and again we need to open this report so let me check the data source is configured okay and the traditional is window authentication which is fine now go to the data set right click and add the data set you can give a name i have given a d set i want the data set to be emitted in my report only not any other report okay now we need to provide the query so we already have a query and we have a shorted query okay we have a query which is providing me the shorted data so this is the first way okay and here if you wanted to see the fields okay all three fields are available here first name last name is city 
and I have shorted the data order by city column then click on ok now data set has been created the third step is I need to display in the form of table ok so I have selected the table here first select the first column drag it and put it in first column select the second column from the data set and drag it into the table on the canvas we can say and this is the third drag and drop now you can just you wanted you can just uh, put some colors to highlight it okay and this is background color so let me put this color as a this one okay now if you go and check the preview so what will what you will observe that we have the shorted data on the basis of city as the letter c come first then d then k okay so this is the shorter data this is the first way you can short the data now let's say you have an option you have a requirement where you wanted to uh, you know uh, uh, instead of city you wanted uh, the data should be shorted on the basis of first name in that case what you need to do because from the database it is coming the shorting from uh, by the city okay but you are a SSRS developer you do not have uh, option to uh, to go in the database and uh, make changes now you have a report you wanted to change the shorting from city to first name so how you can do that so that there comes the second way okay there what you wanted to you have to select this first name column okay this first name column and go to the tablix property okay here is an option shorting okay and here you can add a column okay so uh, which column you wanted to be add in the shorting so i want my first column to be shorted first name sorry first name column to be shorted only first name column okay save it and preview here if you can see see k comes first m p s and t text and if you see here the city it it is not sorted any anymore okay because the d comes after the t okay uh, so from database the data was sorted on the basis of city but i wanted the data to be sorted on first name so i have used the second option using the expressions or tablex property of a column we can say the tablex property of the column the second way we can say uh, by after uh, properties tablix properties okay tablet properties of columns okay so this is the second way we can say now the third way now uh, third way is nothing but an interactive shorting we can say interactive shock, uh, shocking means uh, as the name suggests that it is interactive okay uh, like uh, the user can itself uh, short the data like you have deployed the uh, your report okay now the user which uh, who is viewing this report wanted to short the data on the basis of all the three columns okay so that option you need to provide to the users for that you have to provide a uh, some sort of button or something on which the user can click interact with the report click the button and short the data whenever what whatever he wanted uh, which whichever col column he wanted to short with okay so this is the interactive shorting so interactive shorting is something you provide an option to the users or viewer of a report to short the data which is available in your ssrs report okay this is the third option how you can uh, implement the third option for that what you need to do you need to select this column okay the text columns sorry you have to select the text column and go to properties test box property okay this option you have to you have to provide see you have to provide some sort of button so that we will provide inside the text box okay so you need to go to the text box property and here if you see on the left hand side you can see there is an option of interactive shorting okay just click here and click on enable interaction interactive shorting on this text box i wanted the interactive shorting on this test box so short by first name okay click on okay if you go to the preview 
and see there is a button over here if you see here first name okay because uh, this button is added inside the text box of first name so that is why the width uh, it has uh, it, it has taken some width due to which the first name is come in the second row so i'll, I'll uh, change it later on so uh, my purpose is to show you this button if you so uh, see here if i click here okay see what will happen just see the data is being shorted okay this is descending and this is this is descending and sorry this is ascending okay so uh, this way you can provide the button now you the, you can uh, see here that the button is only available in this uh, first name okay you wanted all other button is available uh, uh, should be available in all the columns so you need to go to the design and again go to the last test book uh, sorry text box okay not clear i don't want to place a clear yes text box property interactive options enable and then short by i wanted it to short by last name okay and let me drag this so that because one column uh, one button is going to add so it may take some space here okay so just drag it then city yes test box property city and city as well i wanted the interactive shorting for the user to select click on ok now i have applied the interactive shorting to all of the columns press ctrl s to save the report and click on the preview to see the result if you see here all this small small icon okay um, it represents the ascending and descending order shorting okay so if i click on this first name so i i see here that the report will be uh, shorted on the basis of first name okay if i wanted to short it with the last name then what will happen the shorting data of the first name is vanished uh, okay and now the data is shorted on the basis of last name similarly if i select the city then it will be shorted on the basis of city and the sorted data which is based uh, which is based on which were based on the first name and last name is be vanished okay now the data which is available in first name and last name is showing randomly whereas the data which is inside of the city column is now shorted okay if i click on here then it is in descending order so this way you can provide the interactive shorting in ssrs report this way you can implement it okay hope you like the video in case if you have any doubt regarding the interactive sorting of ssrs reports uh, feel free to comment me in the comment box thank you and have a nice day